Hello my SOC universe and let's look at another jersey from my collection since we are still within the La Liga uh, jersey review I decided to uh, shoot two more uh, Spanish team uh, uh, Spanish <laughs> jerseys uh, videos for Spanish jerseys in my collection which I realized you know I want to get the the ones that I have the longest one out first but there are a whole lot of Barcelona stuff in there because most of the La Liga jerseys out uh, behind me except for the big teams uh, even the Portuguese jerseys I all bought them this year it is kind of uh, boggling the mind I mean the Sevilla one yeah but I made so many videos I, I don't want to do and you've seen the Valencia one but everything else behind me that is not from Barcelona or Madrid I bought this year rather 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 weird this jersey though I did not buy this year this jersey as far as I know I got early 2020 um, for New Year's as a present from my brother Wolfgang and it's this 99 2000 Barcelona away jersey now uh, before I show you a little bit more of the jersey uh, the story was of course uh, that my brother they kind of you know were expecting the first child um, and so he offered me a bunch of jerseys for free and all, pretty much all of them bangers I mean there was the France 98 home jer uh, jersey there was an Ajax jersey in there that I really like uh, there was of course a Norway 98 jersey in there and yeah there was this Barcelona away jersey which to be honest um, is not my favorite jersey this was my first grade was it my first grade jersey no, it was probably not my first, but it was the fir first majority of the pure grey without any patterning jersey in there. And as you know, grey is, gray is not one of my fav fav favorite colors at all. So this was never that high on my list, but I gotta say, um, this is the among the first from Nike. And what is done well here is that it takes the gray base, it's kind of silver, but it also adds a little bit of gr uh, the club colors with Blaugrana. Maybe here on the collar, I really, really wish that it was a little bit of the light uh, uh, blue that we have here on the side. You see, there is a clear difference in color. This is more the one that was for the matching pants, which was when Nike came out, I really was not happy with the way that, um, you know, Nike then suddenly had all those dark uh, navy blue pants, but you still had the Grau Blana. Uh, uh, I cannot talk to the colors up top uh, it was a very very weird look at that time and that's why we have the color here is still this darker blue where here on the sides we have the lighter blue but that I actually like uh, not the old style crest which is a little bit more squat and also the FCB is not I actually like it this way with the dots and a little bit spray sprout the, the model monologue is way too close here so I, I always like this crest just a tad bit uh better um it has of course the la liga patch which is sewn on here so this is a cloth which i find uh really interesting and so, uh, this was worn in two things from 99 uh, to 2001 um but why is this 99 2000 because it has also the centenary crest here which i find a pretty cool uh thing it is not in the best of shapes definitely needs uh, I'm not sure repairing but it's one of the reasons why I don't wear this jersey off and uh, ve very often it is otherwise in pretty remarkable state and it also has Patrick Kluivert who was probably my favorite player from Barcelona there I mean that was the time 99 to 2002 where I visited Barcelona quite a few times I especially remember watching Barcelona play Leeds uh, where they beat them 4 0 and Patrick Kleiber scoring two goals. Then I was uh, a little bit later, I think it was already 2002, watching Barcelona play Deportivo La Coruña, an amazing 3 2 game. So this was the time of Rivaldo Kleibert. A uh, pretty a good team, but just, you know, it was just at the end of the Van Hal era where they were still good and then they, they went through this valley where they lost in Figo and Real Madrid suddenly became the, out of nowhere the best team in, in the world and it took a while. But Patrick Kluivert was definitely a favorite player of mine. I got it unfortunately the number this way so it is a little bit damaged here. Uh, but I'm actually surprised how well this number is hanging on. So yeah, uh, I 
I really cannot complain much about the shirt. I just don't think it is one of, you know, I have three colors that I recognize as proper Barcelona away colors. And this is not one of them. I would say um, yellow is definitely a proper away color. Orange, since they won the first Champions League in that one, the European Cup in that. And for some reason, I am fine with the turquoise uh, look as well. Gray, yeah, it was a fine experiment. And it's a great jersey. And it also reminds me a little bit of the current shirt that they have, where the purple is not too far removed from this gray. So that's why I decided for this season's review, this will be my stand-in for the away jersey. And yeah, I finally had a Barcelona away jersey because up until that point I had only three home jerseys and I knew I wanted to have some away jerseys. And with Barcelona the away jersey, that's a story in itself. Uh, it is basically take any weird color and slap a crest on it as of late. Uh, this one I at least found very identifiable still Barcelona. And even although I'm not a fan of the centralized crests, I actually do like the way it looks here. So yeah. Pretty nice jersey, I gotta, I gotta say, I think they played a 3-3 Milan away also in the Champions League for the same season where they beat, four, where they beat Leeds 4-0. Four, four that was one heck of a group, Barcelona actually being eliminated there. But uh, I, I distinctly remember this one being worn in a 3-3 at Milan, which was not a great color matchup. And I also want to say, and, I'm not, and I think this was the season earlier, also a 3-3 against Fiorentina, where Bressan scored the uh, uh, amazing goal. So there are some memories uh, of mine attached to this particular shirt from a rather weird uh, period in uh, Barcelona history. But uh, to, be, to be honest, the one where I actually watched the team <laughs> in Camp Nou a few times. So uh, for that reason, it is special. In any case, please let me know what you think about this shirt. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.